Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone in this video me Nurfitya and my friends Bessy hi I'm Bessy and Iza Shazlina hi my name is Iza will present about to be the metry without further ado let's get started hmm have you ever heard about to be the metry what is to be the metry Turbidimetry is a method to determine the concentration of a particular substance in a solution by measuring the amount of cloudiness or turbidity. In this process, loss in intensity of the incident light is measured as it passes via a solution of particles. Due to scattering of incident light at 180 degree or in other words, transmitted light. This process is measured by using turbidimeter. Turbidimeter can be any photometer, ordinary calorimeter, and spectral photometer. So, how does turbidimeter work? Fred, not in the next slide, I will explain about it. Turbidimeter consists of light source that admits wavelength near ultraviolet range, a convex lens to collect and direct a beam of light coming from the light source, a sample holder or a cuvette another convex lens to collect transmitted beam light, and finally a photocell detector or a photo tube and a readout meter to measure amounts of light transmitted. Beam of light from light source will pass through the convex lens. This incident light then travel parallel to the cuvette. The particle in the cuvette will scatter the light beam then transmit the light to another convex lens. The light beam will be collected on photocell detector which will produce current and the result then will be displayed on readout meter. The next part is when. So when do we need to use turbidimetry? Or in other words, is applications of turbidimetry. So the first application is when suspended material determination in natural waters and processing streams is required. The second one is for sulfur determination in coal, oil and other organic materials by precipitating sulfur as barium sulfate. The third one is for biological fluid analysis and interpretation such as serum, urine and cerebrospinal fluid. The fourth one is for immune complex precipitates quantification by using their ability to interact with the incident light. And the last one is for antigens quantification based on changes in transmission of light. These are some clinical applications. So the first one is for amylase activity determination by using starch as substrate. So decrease in turbidity is directly proportional to amylase activity. The second one is for lipase activity determination by using triglycerides as substrates. And decrease in turbidity is also directly proportional to lipase activity. So where is it used? So turbidimetry is used in scientific laboratories, environmental and pharmaceutical science, Food and beverage industries, as an example, in food stuff, the bidimetry is used to monitor product quality and treatment process efficiency, especially in the dairy and brewing industries. And the last one is in clinical laboratories such as clinical chemistry lab. So, why the bidimetry is preferred to be used? The bidimetry is widely used in laboratory, especially clinical laboratories due to its advantages. First, turbidimetry is cheap compared to other methods because require less equipment. It also easily automated. It is a rapid test which do not consume too much time to obtain the result. Also known as non-destructive method as it will not destroy the sample. And it can be used for high concentrated solution. That's all from us. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.